morning guys i'm back with my video on my winning schnauzer like i promised so i like to start by clipping out my paw pads and i do this very very thoroughly the more you do with clippers the less scissoring you have to do and then i'm gonna finish off my bevels by starting uh by doing the bottom first and then i'm gonna come around to the front i'm going to take it right to the nails and then start rounding off from there. I know it sounds crazy, but you wanna take those bevels really, really short to the nail and work your way around. And then I like to start setting in my angles. I like really severe angles on these guys. That's my preference. So I like to make everything on the miniature schnauzer extreme and i just think the angles are really beautiful on them i'm going to do the same to the other back foot i'm going to get the bevel in there right to the nails go nice and short and then i'm going to just trim up the front a little bit blend it in with that bevel and then i'm going to set those angles on the back hawk just like I did on the other side. Again, I think these extreme angles set up everything and I like to do the bevels first on my back feet just because I feel like then I set up everything so I can see it. I like to use clippers to do the majority of my blending. So I like to touch everything up and my model always is, if you can do it with clippers, do it with clippers because it's faster. So I'm coming down and as I go, I am blending with the clippers. I am gonna blend, blend, blend as I go. And so I'm coming back around now. I'm gonna go over everything, skimming with a 40 blade. See how nice and sharp I can get everything with that. With a little practice, this can be a super fast way to do things. So I'm gonna do this all over. And I'm setting in the general shape and I'm doing as much blending and finishing as I possibly can with this just because it's going to speed up the groom. Um, I like to set my front bevels in after I'm happy with the body just because the front bevels to me are really important. You kind of need to set them up and then fix them as you put the weight of the dog down. So they're just something that takes a little bit of extra time. So I like to take my time and then how you scissor in that front leg can make all the difference to a nice pillar leg or not. So I'm just finishing scissoring that first front leg here and getting that all looking nice. And I just continuously put that foot down and just keep setting up the dog to see if I'm happy with how that's starting to look. So once I'm getting happy with that, then I'm gonna do my other scissoring, but see how little scissoring there is really once you've used clippers to touch all this up. So I'm just tidying up that underline, tidying up any flaws, and I'm going right to the details, guys. So just keeping everything nice. I'm taking that skirt, the highest point right at the last rib, and then working that into my back leg lines. And I'm holding that and taking the skirt just below the elbow, not much lower than that. Taking the bib very short as well. You don't want too much of one. I like to do the top of the head in a reverse four. That's what I'm doing here. And then I like to do my ears in a 30 blade with a 40 underneath. And then scissor those up. And then I like to do a reverse 10 on the neck and cheek. I like to take my cheeks from the top of the ear set to the first whisker on the side of the face. That's kind of my lines. And then I'm going to thin shear that four blade we did on the top into that. Now I'm going to take out the center of my eyebrows, only about a pinky width wide. And then I'm doing just a little bit of thin shearing in the eye corners. And then I like to go straight up and down first for my eyebrow on the side of his cheek and then start setting in my brow with my straight shears. So straight up and down at the cheek first. And then I start coming in with my straight shear. And I like very 
dramatic brows depending on what I'm doing if it's a more pet trim I'm gonna do a little bit less dramatic but on him we do everything dramatic and make him beautiful and that is how I do my little competition schnauzer trim I do leave a bit of neck on him in the actual competition ring and a full detailed tutorial will be on the website as part of our courses it will be its own mini course as well on doggroomingschool.com and that'll be in full detail on there. Thanks so much for watching guys. Join us on our Facebook group, The Everyday Pet Groomer.